How y'all doing? Just came on here for a minute to um, talk to y'all a little bit and give y'all some uh, insight. Now let's get into a prayer first. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning, Father God, and blessing us to see a new day. Thank you, Lord. I pray that you speak through me through I pray that you speak through me, Father God, in order to speak to them. And give them absolute truth, Father God, at this moment in time. And I pray, Father God, that you um let the Holy Spirit speak through me, Father God, and give them absolute truth at this moment in time. Lead us throughout our day, watch over us and guide us, and hold our steps, Father God. I thank you for listening to my prayer. Amen. Well, let's get to it. Like I told you, I want to speak on the topic of uh, America. Uh, trying to hold God's children back. Not only that, that the things that you are doing, I told you, greed. Greed is a sin. Greed is a very bad sin. The reason why is because greed causes a lot of things. It causes the person to um, fall and stumble. But wish they tried to hold things. Or uh, too much of something is not good for you. And uh, I guess not enough <laughs> of something is not good for you. I don't know about that part, but um, basically, I want to just say um, I've told America, I've warned America about the things that the father has been talking to me about and telling me about uh, the things that they've been doing and just America, you got a lot of trouble coming your way. Especially the wicked ones. The wicked ones that's been trying to Stop God's children and play as they are God's children. When the whole time they witches and warlocks behind the scenes, like I told you. Or just trying, just basically just trying to hold God's children back, just period. And I, I, I've been telling you this, you know, like uh, this is something serious. Because this is going to be your doing. Not God's, because he's warned you. He's warned you. Plenty of time. Children of iniquity. Plenty of times. But you don't um, you don't incline your ear. And you don't care. Because you think God is not gonna do that. Boy, you see his hand move. I hope that you will stop the things that you're doing. 
before God get, puts his hand in it. I hope that you stop the things that you're doing before God puts his hand in it. Because when he puts his hand in it, ain't going to be no turning back. I'm telling you, it ain't going to be no turning back. And I keep telling you this. Keep telling you this. How y'all doing? Oh, sorry about the guys. Um, but yeah, you just you 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 you, you gotta. I pray that you stop the things that you're doing. But I keep telling you, you keep getting in the way of God's business. You keep getting in the way of God's will. And his purpose is in the earth and trying to stop it. His purpose is in the earth, which is God's time. So, not to be harsh or anything like that, but you're just trying to basically just get in the way of God's business in the way of God's doing. And I told you things that's ordained, that he's ordained in the earth, which his word is, he's spoken already. With you getting, with you trying to interfere with destiny or with any ordained thing that he's ordained, or how can I say this? Not just ordained or there's it's something else I'm trying to think about. Uh, or what you, what you call it? Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of it, guys. Sorry about that. Um, Divine intervention. That's right. That's why I was trying to say before I said uh, this. Divine intervention. But it's the same thing. But uh, it's more... Um, if you try and interfere with that or get in the way of it, it causes things to not um, go as plan as you think it's going to go. It's gonna be some problems. I'm telling you, see? Let me show you something. This is what I gotta deal with. But okay. Still trying to hold God's children. real man it's, I mean I'm every day is about every day is about like I told you this is not nothing that I'm just sitting here just playing games about this is something very real that I go through every day I don't know as many of them go through it as I do but yeah I go through it a lot <laughs> I go through this every day like, they literally trying to stop uh, the things that I'm doing, trying to stop my... And it ain't even about the, the, the uh, about what I'm doing for the fire. It's just, basically just people just stop trying to, trying to stop you from going forward anyway. Or just, you know, and I don't, I'm not saying I can't take backlash, because I can. Took a lot of that, four or five years. Um, still standing, still okay, but it's just the fact of people just trying to hold other people down because they don't like what they're doing. Now, if, if this irks you, then you got a demon in you, or you got a spirit in you that not that's not, you know of good but hmm, I tell you it's just it's just it's just things that go on that that that, that people are just it doesn't make sense no all right all right but that's okay Cause it's gonna be all right. God's got this. 
This is gonna be all right. But I keep telling you though. And I'm not even finna warn you. I'm, I'm, the, the warning is up. The warnings are up. You, you, you. You made your choice. I know you see his hand. You made your choice. But that's okay. Hmm. That's okay. It's all right. But okay. All I got to say is, I'm warning you not to get in the way of divine intervention. I'm warning you not to get in the way of trying to hold God's people back because it will be some things that he's already planned that you don't know about that I'm telling you, you will not be able to kind of, that's why, that's what's wrong with man today though. Man trying to count out what God does and you can't do it because you, he's a brilliant God. He's, he works, his ways are higher than our ways. So I'll be trying to tell you like, what you think you're going to do, you're not going to be able to do it. Even if you think you're going to do it, God will stop you from doing it. I like one of the videos I was talking about uh, the time when I, I used my friend's car and I was going to go try and uh, get a sneak peek of my eggs and things like that, but he stopped me. He stopped me in my tracks. And also, at that time, I got a problem in the mix of it. <laughs> so... I, I, I created a problem for myself. You see what I'm saying? And it was um, it was not good. So I had to fix that girl car, you know. And didn't didn't know it was gonna do such a thing like that. But God, hey, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is real. This is real. This is a supernatural world. And you don't wanna um, do the things that you think you're gonna do. But I'm telling you, it's easy, easy, easy. easy. Got his hand all the way in the earth right now. <laughs> He's got his hand all the way in the earth right now, and a lot of people don't see this, you know. But I'm hoping that you, 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 turn back, turn back, turn back, turn back. I pray that you turn back. And um, but I just wanted to give y'all a little insight on some messages and things like that about how you trying to um uh. Like, people just trying to treat people bad, you know, at this moment in time. Everything, a lot of lies that's going on in the world right now, and a lot of lies that's being uncovered right now is because God is pulling the rug off of these things. And um, the reason why he's pulling the rugs off of these things is because it's, 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 it's causing, uh, it's getting in the way of his business also at the same time, but the wicked ones are trying to do the things that they do. I understand that if you got one side, then you got the other side. But this is the thing, though. And I've been telling y'all that it's a battle in the spirit and it's a battle here in the world. So, I've been telling you this. Um, you need to open up your eyes and see these things. If you can't see these things, you need to go to God and ask Him about these things. Go to Jesus and ask Him about these things. And it's these things that I speak of are true at the same time. Um, if you really want to, like, um, get a hold to some... To Jesus and really want to get down to the to the nitty gritty of this this these things, fast pray and ask them some questions, and wait for the answers. Okay, because there's some things taking place in the earth right now, and God is not he's not happy about them. But he's uh he's very uh <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but. I'm gonna leave that at that. It's just he's not he's not the things that's going on he's not pleased with. I'm gonna say that. He's not pleased with because of all the jealousy and all the nonsense and the and the, and, the, and it just just backlash and other people. He tired of that. He is literally tired of that nonsense. I'm tired of it, you know, but I had to fight this battle every day, you know, and I'm I'm sick of it, you know. I I, I need my peace, you know. Um and it's been years since I had peace, you know. Um, but I'm going to get my peace. I speak it in existence. I declare and I decree and I'm going to get that. Uh, I, I command that. Uh, but the thing is, um, people just need to 
Most people need to come together. I'm going to say that most people need to come together at this time. Because it's a lot of things that's just like... It, that's why it's a lot of chaos in the world. Because people are trying to run other people live. That is why there is so much chaos in the world. Even with getting on the bus or, or even with going into places. Like, I see, a, like I, I went up in McDonald's last night. And I don't wear masks. But I went up in McDonald's last night. And um, these are these spirits and things are ramping in the world right now. And I was about to just give me a tea. You know, I'm just standing there. I'm, I'm waiting on the lady. And the lady wearing a mask. But she stood there for a minute. And while she stood there, she just, uh, it was, it was just, I don't know. She looked at me the first time. Then she looked at me the second time. Then she looked at me again and t and said, uh, you need to wear a mask. And I said, you know, I ain't say nothing. I just throw up my thumb at her, you know. When I throw up my thumb at her, I mean, okay, <laughs> I hear you, you know. And it just, and. When I didn't say nothing, I just did that right there. It just irked her soul. She just, it just really just, that's why I'm saying, you know, it, 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 it took her mind to a whole nother level till she almost like wasn't even human anymore. Like it took her mind just that quick. That spirit jumped in her just that quick, you know? And she got so angry, so mad about the situation. And she was doing fine before I walked in there. But, as she was saying that, and that I did that right there, it just irked her soul. So she tells the lady, he need to wear a mask, and, and he need to get a mask. Now, the lady was finna serve me, but he need to get a mask, and, 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 and uh, uh, just, it just, it was, it was like, it was, it was bombarded her mind, you know, and uh, that's why I was telling y'all, like, these things, it is a, war going on here and in the spirit I've been telling you this um, it's not what everything is perceived to be out here in this world so open your eyes okay but yeah she she uh she really got upset you know for, for no reason at all no reason at all and she like she wanted to just put a mask on my mouth you know but it was okay though I just I had to be humble and I had to throw, just throw the thumbs up and say, okay. But the lady sent me out of the out of McDonald's without me even buying anything. So I just said, okay, well, I'll just get someone to get it for me, you know, since it just it, it took a toll like that. But, yeah, just to let y'all know, you know, these are the things that's going on, you know. And um, be aware of these things and know that it's not the person, but it's the spirit behind the person, you know. So you can't just, when you, when you catch it, you have to be like a... Uh, it's a spirit, you know. But I ain't gonna worry about it, you know. But yeah, don't argue with him. Just cut it flat and leave it at that. All right. And um, this is God's good news for your day. I just wanted to give y'all that, and um, y'all be blessed.